Hello everyone, this is Jason from Primetime Aquatics. We're going to be looking at the discus versus the angelfish. These are two great fish, very popular for good reason, but there's some things you should consider and sometimes the angelfish might be the better option. Let's talk about why that is. All right, so first things first, I think one of the main attractions to discus is that amazing color. You look at discus fish and they are just full of color. They've got red and pink and orange and even white and blue and the wild caught discus are very awesome too and i don't think many people would argue that discus are one of the most colorful fish in all of freshwater fish keeping i think it's one of those fish that many would say would rival saltwater in the tropical freshwater fish keeping hobby and it's one of the reasons why they are so incredibly popular now that being said, angel fish are no slouch either. You've got all kinds of different colors from the Altum Angel, which is absolutely fantastic. You've got platinum angels and blue angels and green and marble and black. There are so many different varieties of angels, but not only that, you've got the different fin varieties from the standard to the veil tail, which can offer a lot of diversity for your fish tank. But now as you consider both of these fish, you do need to think about all of that color and all of that richness that's associated with discus comes at a price. And even small discus can cost upwards of 40, 50, or even $60. And if you want larger discus, it's not uncommon to see them well north of $100 a piece. With the angelfish, small angels are relatively easy to find, and you might only have to pay six, seven, eight dollars a piece, and even larger angels might only top out at 20 to 40 dollars a piece. Of course, these are retail prices in the United States, so you are going to pay a lot more money for those discus. Now, perhaps another advantage when you're keeping discus is they tend to be a little bit less aggressive than angelfish. I would not consider either of these aggressive for a cichlid, but the discus, in my opinion, tend to be a little bit more chilled out, certainly less aggressive towards other fish than angels, but both of them, for the most part, are fairly unaggressive for a cichlid. And by the way, if you want more information, I will link species profiles in the description below if you want to learn a lot more about discus and angelfish. You know, there's something else you need to consider when we're comparing discus and angelfish, and that is discus get much larger, and therefore, require a larger tank. If I were housing discus in a fish tank, the minimum I would even start with is a 90 gallon, knowing that these fish are gonna be a lot better off in a taller six foot tank of around 150 to 180 gallons long term, especially if you're gonna house multiples. Where with angelfish, you can usually get away with around a 40 gallon breeder. The 55s and the 75s work out fairly well. Keep in mind your angelfish will be a fairly tall fish, especially if they're veiled I have had angelfish that have been about a foot long from the top of their top fin to the bottom of their lower fin. And so you just need to keep that in mind that both fish, they get large, but the discus are going to be larger and require a larger tank long term. You know, one of the things that definitely needs to be considered when you're comparing these two fish and one of the reasons why the angelfish might be a better choice for most people, water parameters. When you're keeping discus, the water temperature is often much warmer, somewhere around the mid 80s, where angelfish are going to be kept in temperatures that are more typical of other tropical freshwater fish, somewhere around 77 or 78 degrees. They're gonna be perfectly comfortable there. Yes, angelfish can be kept in warmer temperatures, but they don't need to be. Where the discus, they're gonna to wanna to have those warmer temperatures. Not only that, but when we're looking at other water parameters, such as water hardness, and pH, the discus are going to like soft water, somewhere around that two to five degrees on your GH and KH. We are angelfish, we keep them in our water, and we get as high as 10 degrees GH and KH. For the pH, your discus are going to definitely enjoy a pH that's less than seven. Angelfish have a much broader range, typically speaking, and will tolerate a wider range in pH. We keep our angelfish at around a pH of eight. They live long, healthy, happy lives. They would do better if the pH was closer to 7, but discus tend to like softer water with a lower pH, and they tend not to do as well when you stretch that range towards the upper end. Now, because we're talking about these really interesting water parameters with discus, the softer water with the lower pH and the higher temperatures, 
those three things mean that we're gonna be somewhat limited when it comes to tank mates. Maybe something like your German Blue Rams. There are some Plecos and some Cory Cats that like temperatures in the lower to mid 80s. Ruminos, Tetras, Cardinal Tetras, but we are limited. When it comes to the angelfish, we've got a lot more options because their temperatures, their water hardness, their pH is a lot more similar to most of the fish that we find in the fish keeping aquarium hobby. By the way, if you're looking for tank mates for angelfish, I've got a video I did exclusively for that. I'll put that in the upper right hand corner as well as in the description below. And while we're on the subject of water parameters, while no fish is going to be maintenance free, the discus are probably one of the most high maintenance fish you're going to have in the freshwater fish keeping hobby. They do require very stable water parameters. They do require very clean water, no ammonia, no nitrite, and nitrates have to be well maintained. Angelfish also need to have proper aquarium maintenance, as all fish do, but they're a little bit more forgiving of water parameters. You're going to wind up doing more water changes and larger volume water changes most of the time if you're keeping discus. And if you are not keeping those discus in very good water, they are going to be prone to disease and they tend not to be as hardy as some of the other fish, especially angelfish. Again, all fish require proper aquarium maintenance. All fish require stable water parameters, but the discus, when they don't get those things, tend not to live as long and tend not to live as well. And finally, if you're into breeding fish, angelfish are often a little bit easier to breed, especially for people who are not used to breeding fish. Discus, they're going to require a little bit of care, a little bit of extra attention, especially once those fry are free swimming. So those are just some things to think about. Angelfish, discus, both absolutely fantastic fish. Both make a great centerpiece to an aquarium. Discus have a heck of a lot more color. Angelfish also have a lot of variety in terms of their color and their finage. Would love to hear from you down in the comments section below. Which one do you prefer? If you had to pick one, which one would it be? If you want more information, again, check out the species profiles in the description. Appreciate you being here, and we'll see you in the next one.